here's the completed science fair radio. I put in all new capacitors and I used a resistor here to substitute for the transformer. I just cut the primary leads to the transformer and kind of bent it out of the way. The secondary still needs to remain intact so bias voltage can get to the uh, to the output transistors. But I probably didn't need to use quite this big wattage of a resistor, but I just tried different ones and this one seemed to work pretty good, so I went ahead and used it. And then the coupling capacitor is just soldered to the other side of the circuit board on the front. So let's see if I can put it back. I'll just set it back up in the case there. And I think this was originally built from a kit. This was a Radio Shack Science Fair kit. And whoever did this did a, a really good job of soldering, it looks like. I mean, I, th I think this was probably a kit in which you had, to, you had to actually put the parts to the circuit board and solder them. So it was a really professional job who made it. Sometimes these kits have kind of, like this one here, have kind of sloppy, uh, sloppy wiring jobs on them. Well, let's uh, turn it on here. Generates interference. Uh, um, excerpt there with Halpern. Uh, I think that, speaking of sabotage, they sabotaged him. Even Joe goes, Oh, we got your back. They pan to the camera, the camera pans to the JV production staff back there. Oh, yeah, we'll hit the button, we'll hit the button. And they so there's the Science Fair transistor radio. It doesn't have an RF stage to it, I don't think, so it can only get the Midland stations, which are just talk. It can't get any of the country stations, which come from further away. But even though I had to kind of modify the circuit to get it to work, it doesn't sound half bad. It's just using one of the output transistors now rather than the push-pull it was set up to use. Maybe sometime if I can find a transformer like from a junk circuit board, I can restore the circuit back to how it originally was because that was the bad part was the transformer. So I'll just uh, put it back together now. We'll take one last look at the rear. This amount of ventilation looks more like a tube type radio. This is more ventilation than some tube radios I've seen. So I don't know if maybe this could have originally housed a tube radio at one time. I mean, not this particular one, but if this this uh, this setup might have at one time had a tube type radio and then, a, and then upgraded to a solid state chassis eventually, I'm not sure. I might go to RadioShackCatalogs.com and uh, try and find this model out, see if I can see when it was produced. So there's the Science Fair radio.